Okay, in keeping with the theme of this channel and um, in general, in general, the topics I'm going to talk about, I want to relate a story to you. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate this theory that I've kind of come up with for how I come up with how how I come across knowledge and things that just seem like out of nowhere. And um, really. Let me take you back to my, to about 2014, 2013 as well. Um, back when I was really heavily into um, my porn addiction, when I was really, really struggling with it. And um, I remember the days, um, there, there were times when I would go maybe a week, maximum two weeks uh, without looking at porn. And I remember at the end of those days, I was really like, really horny, like really on edge. And had so much energy inside of me. I, I felt like I could do anything really with my life. But I just decided, you know what? I'm just, I feel so horny. I need to look at porn. And the funny thing is when I used to type anything into Google or anything I typed just came up with the most amazing porn scenes for me. Like it used to be like instantaneous. I used to be able to find anything I wanted. And then obviously the day after relapse into porn, when I tried to type in those same combinations of words or whatever, I just couldn't find the same kind of material that I used to find. It was just like, it's like if my brain just knows the perfect thing to search. And I remember when I, when I kind of rebooted off porn, um, 2015, 2016, and I started redirecting that sexual energy towards my life purpose and towards self-improvement and growth. All that sexual energy that I had inside me when I started to look for topics on, on, on things that I was wanting to improve on, I used to find it instantaneous. It used to just be easy for me. And especially when I was meditating and doing good habits and really raising my vibration, that is even the, the topics that were, um, that gelled with me, the topics that I felt a connection with, they happened just like that. They just, I could just find the videos for it instantaneously. Um, when I started walking, for example, on the, in the evenings, um, on the weekends, about 2017, 2016, I noticed a, a bigger shift, a bigger jump in my kind of feeling, my vibration. And I noticed that when I would come home after that walk, if I had a topic on my mind and I need some inspiration about it, I could just type the words into Google or YouTube and... I would fight it instantaneously. Whereas if I was feeling really shitty about myself, really down uh, before that, and I type in the same kind of words, same, same kind of combinations, I wouldn't be able to find it. It'd just be so difficult to find a video. And um, I thought about why is this, why is it that your mood or the way you feel can make you find information that matches your, your mood or your feeling? Um, and it, like why is why is no one talking about this and really it just it just got me thinking that google and youtube are just really they're a physical representation of what is really out there what is around there what is around us all the time and what around us what is around us all the time is thoughts feelings and ideas google what google and youtube have done for the first time is that they've been able to get a concept of grabbing all those thoughts and feelings and putting them into a tangible form. The, f the first time this happened was obviously hundreds and thousands of years ago or, or hundreds of years ago when you had libraries. But even then, it didn't capture thoughts and feelings. They captured ideas, but it didn't capture thoughts and feelings that are happening instantaneously. But with Google, now you've got loads of people blogging, loads of people making videos, loads, loads of people giving their ideas and comments. So it's like a quantum collection of thoughts and feelings. And so for the first time, you actually physically get to see how, what it means that when, you're, when your thoughts um, are in a certain vibration, you attract, you attract thoughts of a similar vibration. It's the first time you actually get to understand it. This is why some people can get stuck and attached to certain ideas um, for a long, long time because they keep attracting those thoughts and they keep Googling those thoughts and YouTubing those thoughts and they keep coming up, coming back, coming back with content, matching those. 
if only they just changed themselves and self-improved, exercise, meditation, walking, journaling, doing all these positive habits, they'll start to notice a change in their feeling. And when you start to notice a change in your feeling and mood, you can't, you physically cannot go back to those things that you used to look at because you just, it doesn't align with you anymore. And so you type in stuff and content matching your new feeling and you discover new stuff that you never thought existed. Um, it's like for me, for example, the idea of um, the idea of me being attractive, that didn't exist in my um, consciousness or alignment until I started changing myself, improving and um, exercising and then trying things and then Googling those things. Why is this happening? Why is that happening? And then finding out that oh, actually girls are actually attracted to me. Or, for example, the idea of having a business and, you know, not having to work. That idea of not having to work for money, but having a business that makes you money, I never even considered that in my paradigm or my alignment until I changed myself and rose up in my vibration. And now new ideas and new things are coming into my reality from Google and from YouTube because I'm changing my vibration, I'm changing my alignment. And so I'm, my mind is expanding to, to attach to new ideas and new things. So the way the way the way I want to summarize it is really everything that you YouTubing or Googling it's it's limited because it's what you know. You have to understand that the biggest slice of the pie is what you don't know that you don't know. So there's a little slice, you know, what you know. There's another little slice is what you know that you don't know, and then there's a massive slice of knowledge and infinite thoughts and reality which is what you don't know that you don't know and this is the thing when you self-improve you keep doing these practices to make yourself raise your vibration you start to come across those concepts and ideas um which are what you don't know that you don't know that's why you discover new things that you never even thought like meditation i never thought that that would be a, a thing that would change my life but it changed my life massively and that was due to self-improving by exercising and then by exercising, I started dating. And when I started dating, I discovered I had a problem with my like my manhood, basically. And I discovered NoFap. And because I discovered NoFap, I discovered um, forums for NoFap. And I discovered meditation. And meditation made you discover thoughts and feelings and all these other things. It's a, it's a, it's a cycle, guys. Everything you do to, to self-improve improves you in general. And you will come across that knowledge. So... Yeah, keep that in mind and keep aligning yourself with higher thoughts. And the only way to do that and kind of align with new information on Google and YouTube is to self-improve in general. That's all. Peace.